Welcome back everyone to another episode of Pine Leaf on Board where this week we'll be playing One Deck Dungeon. And this is a game that is currently in early access so we could expect maybe to run into a bug or two along the way. This is based on a card game by Osmati Games and let us go into it. Let's create a new game. And we are going to go against the easiest of the dungeons. You can see we have five particular dungeons that we could go into. The Dragon's Cave is the easiest of them. We will try that. We also have the Yeti's Cavern, the Hydra's Reef, which are medium difficulty. And Lich's Two Men Minotaur Maze are the toughest. And we have five potential heroes. Let's try uh, the Rogue. And we have a choice of Novice Mode where we start at level 2. Let's start at standard where we get one random card for XP to begin with. Then in veteran mode you get no extra thing fearless, you get no potion at the start. So we'll we'll start at standard and uh, start a game and let's see how we do with this rogue. And we're loading. And let me show you what we're doing in here. We are going against the Dragon's Cave. This is the dungeon here. And in this game, ooh, you go through three floors up, then you face a boss, which is the dragon here. We'll get to that later. But at the very beginning, on the first floor, we have to worry about this one. Second level, we have to worry about the first two here. And on the Hall of Statues, we have to spend five before the first turn on each floor. That's why you saw five time. And the cards are, of course, our currency in here, where we... You wind up going through the deck faster because you have to spend five cards just to get started. Then at the beginning of each turn, you have there. So we'll explore a little bit. So we add four cards there. And these are the monsters that we doors we're facing there. But time passes and two more cards are thrown into the discard pile. Now here is my character where my heroic feat is Daring Gamble. Where I roll, where I can choose to roll an extra die there if it's the... If either one is a one, I can lose three time and a health. So I have to be careful there not to use that too often. And my regular stealth thing is that when I flee, I can add one door to the I may add one door to the dungeon if under the door limit. I think they changed that maybe from last week. I don't remember what it, in the that must be a change for the second edition rules because I didn't remember having that ability. But that's nice because when you flee, normally it could be a real pain. But I'll show you what flee means later because I'm sure I have to do that eventually. But let's open up a door and get started. Here's the first door. And it looks like we have an arrow wall. Now, my abilities here is I have oh, one yellow die, which is a strength die. I have four agility dice, two mana dice, and five health. So therefore, I'm nice and quick in here. I have a choice of either trying to use a mana shield to get through there, or to rush through here. But I, I'm going to try to rush through since I have a good agility in there. And I am going to have to spend two points there. Now the question is whether or not I want to risk throwing in a black die there. I think just to show you what's going on in here, let's do this. Uh, oh, yes, first off, I need to enter. Yes, okay, I want to enter. I have a choice between entering or fleeing. I will enter in there. I'll choose rush through. And now I can decide whether or not to use my heroic feet. And what I'll do is I will roll one because if it's a one, it could be a problem. So let's roll the die. I hope it's not a... Oh, whew, that was close. <laughs> And the reason why you don't necessarily want to do two of them, because if you roll two dice, well, you have a better chance of rolling a one in there. And you don't want to roll a one, obviously. Okay, ooh. All right, now, this one has a shield on it, so I must cover up the shield one first. So, therefore, I do that. And I have a six and a five. Now, I didn't know that I was going to have a nice, good roll there. So I really didn't need that three there, but all right. And here we end the encounter. This lists what consequences you have. Anything that's uncovered at the end, you suffer whatever consequences it has. So therefore, since I covered up everything, there are no consequences. So let's end the encounter. And I get loot. The card has three types of loot on it. 
One of them is an item, which improves your abilities. One of them is XP, and the third one is some sort of skill. This is use ability to prevent one damage. In a boss fight, prevent two damage. Ooh, that's nice. I like that skill. Especially, so, and especially since I have a lot of agility, so therefore spinning an agility die for that, like if I roll a one, it's a good use for a ones. So that would be my... So therefore, the card includes on it not only the monster or obstacle you're facing. Oh, a frost elemental. Ooh, before the encounter, I would have to spend three on there. Oh, this looks like... It has a shield 11. Okay, so I'm going to have to flee. There is absolutely no way in the world I am going to be able to win this encounter. And... If I can't cover this up, I can't cover up anything else, so I would wind up taking one, two, three, four, five damage, spend three time, plus the three time just for entering it. Yeah, this is a good candidate for fleeing. Let's run away. But this shows you what the rewards are in advance, so you can tell here that this one will give me agility die and some extra damage. This will have flurry, which, yeah, requires yellows anyway so it's not even attractive for that so let's leave don't add door why would I alright I don't know why it says don't add door there because don't I want to add the door okay oh I click this. Okay, so I click my skill in order to do it, and if I don't want to use the skill, I hit don't add door. Okay, good. So therefore now, I had I had placed a door there because that's my special ability is to add one there if I flee. All right, so therefore that takes care of this. We are about one third of the way through here, so let us continue on here. Let's open up the next door, and we have a goblin. Now the goblin, this thing right here is eight per open door. The door that we fled from is considered to be an open door. Empty ones aren't considered to be open doors. So therefore, there... Hmm... Is another case where I would have to use a daring gamble to have any hope on this. I, Okay, I'm not given the option in order to use my ability because we have four open, we have four doors already. Hopefully, I don't run into another goblin. Okay, rune puzzle. Either decipher or oh. Oh, I do have two. Yeah, I do have. So I will have to try to decipher it. Okay, I will enter it. We'll try to decipher it since I've got more blue dice and that's the lower number. Daring Gamble. I am going to have to do this. Do I? One, two, three. Let's just roll one die. Hopefully it's not going to be a one. Well, it's a two. So at least I get to throw it onto there. And I roll a three and a two. Oh, that's not good. Now, unfortunately, none of my abilities are useful here because I've already used the Daring Gamble, Stealth, and Dodge. And so, therefore, I can use this. But I rolled so poorly on these two dice, and I don't have anything to mitigate it. And so, I'll have to end the encounter. My consequences are three time lost and one damage. All right, and unfortunately, I can only use the dodge in combat encounters. I haven't done any combat encounters yet because I fled from both of them that I had. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my loot. What do I want with it? Do I want an extra agility, or do I want... No, I definitely don't want that. All right, let's take... Let's add an extra die there. I'm going to start taking experience at some point in the near future. Uh, I'm getting a lot of perils. 
that's what they're called. They're, these things are called perils. So do I want to dismantle it or go, well, climb over it, obviously. I've got five, I've got five magenta dice, so obviously I want to. So do I want to skip heroic fleet? <laughs> feet. <laughs> uh, fleet. Yeah, I think I will skip the heroic thing. and I think five dice should be enough unless I roll really poorly. One, three, three. Okay, we'll, we'll put the three here. Five, four, three. And that's plenty in there. It's like I could end the encounter. Well, this says, oh, prevent thing. So I could prevent damage if I was going to take any, but since I'm not taking any damage, that's sort of moot here. So I could just end the encounter since there are no consequences. And onward. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I, I've i already taken two items here. There is a limit because I'm at level one. So I can only take oh, one item and two skills. Uh, oh, that's right, because I took a skill on the first time on one way. Okay, fine. And I don't want that. I don't want that. So I'm at my item limit. I really don't want this skill, so therefore I'll take it as XP. And I hit level 2. So I had my starting XP plus the two there, so that's good. So now I'm level two. And what level two does is it, I now get a black die for all encounters. I got an extra potion there just in case I need it. And I now can have three items and three skills. And I really don't want to face any of these two yet, so it is time to go against these guys. So well, let's go into here. Hopefully it's not another goblin. Uh, well, this guy. This is worse. Ah. All right, hopefully this is something that I can actually fight. Oh, uh, well, I have to fight him no matter what. And unfortunately, he has two mana areas. Oh, this guy is... Hmm. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's any way for me to see what the others are. Because I'm wondering, oh, should I flee? But eh, I don't know. I think fleeing is going to be worse there. Because so therefore, I am going to throw in a daring gamble. So let's enter it here. Daring Gamble, both the dice. Hopefully, I don't roll a one. I'm okay. Oh, good. All right. Now let's roll all these other dice, and maybe this will help me through this. Unfortunately, it's rather pathetic. Now both of these are ones. That's really bad. That's really bad. <sighs> okay, so. My yellow roll is horrible, my blue rolls are horrible, and therefore I have to use my blacks to take care of the armors. I use that for a five. I use that to get rid of that. And one of the things you can do is to take two dice and exchange them of the same color, and you get the lower number that you put into there. So put that into there. And I'll do the same for that. To get rid of the one that's on the dungeon card. And that just leaves me losing... Oh, if any boxes are empty, spend two time. Actually, considering the way my dungeon door is right now, I really don't mind that being a problem. I'd, I think I would like to lose three time at this point, simply because I'm having trouble with getting through all these doors. Okay, so now... Ooh, I'll be really specialist in here. 
Oh, this is a potion. Spend two time before an encounter. Skip the claim loot. F skip to the claim loot fit. Oh, that is... Yeah. I need that, actually, in order to get through this. All right. So... Let's see, because this goblins were 12 right now, so I'm not going to get by him. All right, so which of these is, because I'm going to use the Potion of Invisibility to grab one of these. And which one do I want? Here I could, no, I, here I could roll, spend three mana to get a black die. That's really nice. Here I can roll two yellow, no, that's not, and this is three for rolling two. Yeah, I don't need this. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go against the goblin. And I am going to use a potion. So that's telling you not to... Yeah, because I am going to use the potion of invisibility. And so I skip... And I'm going to take that as a skill. Good. And now, we've got the stairs showing. And I have a choice of either continuing on. Now, if you ever have three hearts on here, you take a damage. So, therefore, you take one heart per time spent. So, therefore, I'm going to take damage if I do this and do this. And I don't want to face any of these anyway. So, the obvious answer is to descend. So, now we are set in here. Now, there is an extra five mana point here and here for the perils because that's for the left side is for perils and this is for combat ones. I didn't explain that before. Flame aura, that's just flavor text. There's no special ability in that. But that is the first part of this game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into several episodes, but though I'm going to post all of them in the same week for the same game there. So therefore, the next episode is going to follow up pretty quickly quickly on this. So I'll see you then for the next episode where we are going to go into the second level and see if I can get to two levels then. And this is Pilot Noodles reminding you to quest responsibly.